Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to Legoland and weather is not at all in our favor. But that's okay, I'm sure we are still gonna enjoy. We are almost there, just after parking we'll enter Legoland. You can see how excited our kids are. And here we are. Everything is made with Lego bricks. First, we are heading straight to Sea Life. I remember last time when we were here, Sufyan was like three and a half years old, and he was scared of going under that thing. And this time, he is having a lot of fun. Oh look jellyfish! This is a screen and kids are having fun. In here, we were allowed to touch any of these fishes. Next, we are walking under the water. I forgot what that area was. It's amazing and our kids are also having a lot of fun. Look, you're gonna love this. This is the best shot I got. Here's a seahorse. And here's Dory and Nemo. That's how my kids know them. And that's all the fun in sea life. Next, we are moving to Explorer Island. Here first, we were standing in line for a safari trek. Wait time was like 30 minutes and suddenly it started raining. So we skipped that and now we are going to Fairy Tale Brook. The boat covers most of the fairy tales like Red Riding Hood, Snow White, Cinderella, Aladdin, Jack and the Beanstalk, Hansel and Gretel. It's amazing to watch. <laughs> and that's the end of this ride it was nostalgic next we are going to lego friends heart lake city this is heart lake fountain from here we are walking straight to fun town at Fun Town, first we are at Kid Power Tower. And here Sufyan enjoying his ride with his dad. Next is driving school. 
we decided to keep this day very light and kids friendly so most of the rides are for kids after driving if we want we can also purchase legoland driver license for kid that's just for fun next ride he did was fun town police and fire academy and after that we straight went to adventurers club next to it We are out. It was a short walk. The water park was closed so next we decided just to sit for some time in a play area and let our kids have fun building Legos. Just next to this spot is Skipper School. Leaving Fun Town and now we are at Pirate Shores. Most of the ride here like Pirate Reef and Splash Battle are seasonal so they are closed. But Captain Cranky's challenge was fun. Nothing was allowed on that ride so I couldn't film. Next we are heading towards Deep Sea Adventure. This is a submarine. We are just waiting here for doors to open. And here's the submarine. Let's go. We are out of deep sea adventure and came straight to Castle Hill. Here he is having fun on a royal joust. We decided to skip other rides of Castle Hill and we are heading straight to Land of Adventure. Land of Adventure is so busy and wait time is beyond 30 to 40 minutes so we are heading straight towards Mini Land. Miniland is amazing and wonderful to look at and everything here is made with Lego bricks. It covers New York, Vegas, Washington DC and more. So just to let you know we also skipped imagination zone because of the wait time and also little one was not allowed on any of those rides. So we don't want to wait for so long where only two of us can ride and also park was about to close in an hour or so. 
I would also like to add if you are planning a trip to Legoland do check out Miniland you will be amazed even our kids loved walking through these Lego buildings I know I could have edited a little more but I liked it so much thought you guys will also love it Look this is awesome Next is Star Wars Mini Land. I don't know much about Star Wars. Actually, I know next to nothing. <laughs> This will make sense for those who are into Star Wars. After this we spent like 15 to 20 minutes at Ninjago World just quickly took a ride and came back to Miniland where they also have the Coast Guard build a boat here kids are having fun building their own boats and then racing After this we decided to take one last ride because there was no wait time at Coast Cruise so enjoy Reporting before he starts work here at the coast, he tells his son, "Everybody's favorite, Mama and Papa tortoise to be Bob and Gertrude and all their little eggs." Yes, folks have been patiently waiting for those eggs to hatch. Ah, don't worry about Jeff, folks. He's been hanging there all day. I'm sure he won't let go anytime soon. You had to be expecting at least one Lego joke out of me, right? Now, is that the time is accurate? Take quite as long, and is constructed of 143,000 Lego bricks. Here at the Coast Cruise, we like to ours isn't quite so tall or heavy. It is 11 feet high, constructed of 120,000 Lego bricks. Those people are listening. Quit picking on George. Oh, come on, Lincoln. Where's your sense of humor? Only took a half a million Lego bricks to create. And kids, if you don't know what the Death Star is, it's that big ball in the left back with the green light coming out. And if you don't know what the Death Star is, go watch Lego Death. Go watch Lego Star Wars. It's a really good movie. Now here is the Statue of Liberty. She stands at six feet tall. She is constructed of two hundred and four thousand Lego bricks. Behind her is the New York Manhattan skyline, which took a total of sixteen million Lego bricks, and we have both the Manhattan and the Brooklyn Bridge. Now all of Miniland uses a combined total of sixty million Lego bricks. And it's a pretty cool area to check out if you haven't been there yet. Oh, don't worry about Gulliver, folks. Looks like nothing. Here we are coming to the end of our tour and being greeted by our resident octopus band. They are constructed in. That was the end of this ride and our Legoland trip, and we are back to the beginning. Hope you enjoyed with us. See you next time. Subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload. Till then, bye.